Hey guys, welcome to part 2 of the fundamentals of limits. And in this video, I'm going to be explaining what happens when a limit when x approaches to a from the right or sometimes when limit when x approaches a from the left. Yeah, this makes this actually makes a big difference because when x approaches a from the right, let's view it from a number line standpoint. Oh my gosh, that's horrible. Oh, that's not much better, but... Okay, so we have, let's say, A equals 1. We have 0, 0, no. Let's have 1 here. Dot, dot, dot on either side. Okay, so when X approaches A from the right side, it's coming from this side. That means... Here is the firewall that you can never touch, even though you can get infinitely close. So that means this number, when it's approached from the right, it equals 1.0000000 dot 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 001, which is really close. But in this case, when x approaches a from the left, from the left side, this equals 0 0.9999999 dot 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 nine 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 dot 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 and you might be wondering how does this make a difference when at the end you still just plug in one well here let me show you an example if we have a limit when you know what I'm gonna clear the board If a limit when x approaches 3 from the right, and let's say, um, let's have a variable t squared minus 9, square root of t squared minus 9, and t minus 3. Okay, what would that equal? Now, I'm also, while I'm explaining how what um when x approaches three from the right and x approaches three from the left of differences i'm also showing you how to solve limits so you want you also want to pay attention to this so when you look at this limit you see there's it looks like it can be factored in some way so oh my bad forgot to label it's always good to label but i'm i'm a lazy person okay t minus 3, t plus 3, t minus 3. Now you see we have a t minus 3 here and t minus 3 here, but this one is under a square root sign. So you could add a square root sign and square it, which it's the same thing. Equals limit x approaches 3 from the right. Square root t minus 3, t plus 3 square root of t minus 3 t minus 3 and cancel these out you have t plus 3 square root of t minus 3 the limit forgot that sign x 3 plus okay now that we have this we can go ahead and plug 3 from the right and that makes all the difference and you'll see in a second let me scroll down a little okay so it would be 3 plus 3 3 minus 3 now this is actually this number is actually 3.0000000 dot 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 zero zero one so it's actually a little greater than negative 3 which makes this number the resulting number it can be square rooted so the top part is square root of 6 and this bottom part is this positive value very small positive value very small 
It's actually a infinitely small. Infinitely small positive value. And <clears throat> because when the denominator is very, very small, it becomes the answer is infinite. And here I'll explain it some more. Let's say we have 1 over 1. That equals 1, right? How about 1 over 0.5? That equals 2. 1 over 0.25. That equals 4. 1 over 0 0.00001. 1, 2, 3, 4. It might be some thousand or 10,000. Anyways, the point is the smallest, the smaller this denominator is, the bigger the number is as long as this number is not infinite as well so if the denominator is infinitely small the resulting answer would be infinite because this would be so big and if this had here let me show you the case if it had approached from the left Whoops, running out of my board so if limit x approaches due to the negative, and this was our um, answer, I think it was, no, this was a plus x minus 3. <coughs> now if we plug this in, 3 plus 3, it would actually be 3 minus 3. This number would be 2.9999 dot 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 999 dot dot dot. So, the denominator would be negative. Not be, only be negative, but this it would be a imaginary number because of the square root sign. So it would make a completely different answer just because of this infinitely small difference. And that's the basic idea of when a limit approaches, when x approaches, or a certain variable approaches a number from different sides. Now, this actually brings on another thing I want to talk about which is a certain condition to whether a limit exists or not so this is a condition for limits if when limit x approaches a and Oh, from the left and limit x approaches a from the positive side from the uh, right side is not equal the limit is not defined which means there's no such thing is not defined and you might look back to the previous example and say what the Wait, that makes no difference. Bec that makes no sense because you just showed us that three could equal two point nine 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 nine, and three could also equal when x approaches three from the right three point zero 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 one. But that's not really what this means. Here, for example, if we have such a limit and x approaches zero, okay, let's draw a graph of this. So we have a graph of this. <clears throat> so for the positive values of x right here, it would be positive y as well. So let's draw it here. And for the negative values of x, this, the top part would be positive, but the bottom part would be negative. Because if x is negative, the, abs the absolute value makes it positive. But this one, the d uh, denominator doesn't have an absolute value, so it's negative, which means it goes here. <clears throat> now, if it approaches 0 from the right and the left, and look at that big jump, this is actually like negative 1 and this is 1, there's a huge difference. So it's completely different values, and that's why if there's a such thing like this, that limit when x approaches 
does not equal limit when x approaches a plus the limit is not defined it doesn't exist so that concludes my second part of fundamentals for limits it was a bit long but hope you enjoyed it